What's up, hustlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back again with another video. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Continue the good work, my brother. JT Hustles. <laughs> and we're back at the rental property doing what we do. And what I want to talk to you about in this video is what to look for when buying your first rental single family home. I know some people don't even want to invest in single family homes. They're all into commercial multifamily. I'm with you on that. Moving forward, I want to do the same, but this particular video are for those men and women out there who do want to invest in single family homes. And I'm gonna also let you know, you don't want to buy one like this one and I'll explain why in this video. Let's get into it. I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. All right, hustlers. So you guys know that I am a new real estate investor going around, cash buyer, buying whole investor, uh, just getting properties, renovating them and holding them. Now, like I said before, uh, I want to give you guys just some basic tips. Again, I'm not a real estate guru. I'm not a real estate expert. I'm just somebody out here that's actually doing it and just going to give you guys my little two cents for whatever it's worth. But just take this, add it to the information that you already have with your decision on whether or not you should buy a property. So, uh, I'm going to take this from the perspective of you may be somebody that's fairly new like me. So, of course, first impression on a house is going to be what the front view of the house looks like. So, that's going to be give or take your first impression. Now now this house uh, was hit by two trees. So, the stump there is a remnant of the first tree that had came. It hit approximately this area, right? So now this still needs to get replaced. Some of it has been replaced, but once we do the vinyl side and all of this is gonna get cleaned up. Two trees hit this property. One you can see uh, from that damage there. It needed a new roof. The interior was in pretty rough shape. Now, when I say this property needed a new roof, I'm not talking about just shingles. I mean complete roof system. The trusses were replaced. So everything was redone as it relates to this roof. Uh, that being said, it was significantly higher than what a roof would cost if it just needed uh, some shingles, some underlay. None of the wood was actually uh, severely damaged. From the exterior of the house, when you first looking at a property, it may be hard to look at a property to be able to tell if you need a complete roof system or not. So I highly encourage you to get a home inspection done on every property. before you buy it. I didn't do it on this property. Again, I'm gonna tell you guys at the end of the video why I bought this property, even though I'm telling you guys, don't let this be your first property and why I didn't get a home inspection done on it. But now I'm gonna grab a respirator and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside of this property. Uh, and I'll try to hold the camera close enough so you guys can still hear what I'm saying. But give me one second. All right, you guys, so respirator is on. There is no power in the house, so I apologize in advance for the lighting. But pretty much, I'm going to try and take you guys inside. Now, we have already started the demo. Turn this way. We've already started the demo in this property. It's early in the morning. My demo guy is here. I'm actually in his way.
by doing this YouTube video. But um, we are taking down a lot of the walls, doing an open concept. This house was built in 1962. There's no installation in the exterior walls. You can see right there, internal roof damage. Again, from where that tree hit it. So we're going to do an open concept. It's going to free flow from the front door all the way to that wall is coming down. There's another wall back there that's coming down. So it's going to be a very open concept. We do have central air in here, though. You name it, it's getting redone. I'm going to show you guys real quick the kitchen. I'm going to have to use my cell phone for a light to try to uh, give you guys the visual. <laughs> So, right now, as you guys can tell, the bathroom is through that door with the reno. So, this is the hallway, very short hallway that's going to be demoed. This area right here is going to be where the bathroom starts. Right, so the bathroom is going to be bigger. It's going to start right here in this area uh this space right here is going to be reconfigured bathroom again apologize for the lighting we're using the cell phone light we're going to redo the bathroom it's going to be bigger updated This is one bedroom. This is the second bedroom. This is the third bedroom. This was formerly a fourth bedroom. Back there was another bathroom. There's the tub is what you're looking at there. This is, I guess, like was formerly the dining area. They had another back area back there. And that is the kitchen area. See the outside let me take this respirator off so you guys can hear me a little bit better now for those of you that have been keeping up with the jt does real estate series there's a whole playlist on this youtube channel about it you guys know that this person was previously a hoarder we had to get the junk removal people out here and the roof is done as well because this house needs a full renovation and if you don't know anybody in the industry it's going to get very pricey very fast. I don't recommend that somebody brand new to start off with a home this bad. Like I said, it's going to need the works. So from the roofs, walls, uh, redoing the kitchens, the bathrooms, um, adding a bathroom, um, getting all the junk out of there because it was a hoarder that previously lived in there. Uh, so it adds up quick. I don't expect the average person to have an extra $40,000 that they can use to go buy a house, fix it up and whatever, or feel comfortable using their credit. I'm personally a cash buyer. You guys know that I'm working on my credit and everything. But up until this point as an entrepreneur, I've been doing everything with cash. So I never took the time to build up my credit and everything to have this kind of buying power, which I highly recommend and will transition in the future once my credit is there to doing things that way. But as of right now, uh, I got to use my own cash until further notice. But all in all, what's going on here, um, I think that this may be a bit much for the average person. My personal personality type is I like to go ahead and address the big problem first or address the hardest part of anything first and then let everything after that seem easier. Uh, but I think that there are more people who are inclined to say, let's do an easy win here 
build my confidence up. I might do something a little bit harder next and then I'll build myself up to a property that needs a full renovation. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It really just depends on the type of person that you are. And I've already decided that I would probably never buy another house that needs as much work as this one does. But this house is my college education, if you will, as far as getting an education on real estate. So going through the process of roofing, demo, full renovations, landscaping, got to deal with the city, all in all doing all of that, this house will easily then rent for $900 a month. So prices in this area are going up, but even if the house was done today, I could get $900 a month. But the difference between me spending $40,000 and going to college, and again, you guys know how I feel about college. You've been rocking me for a while. Uh, and this is not somebody that has never went to college. I spent seven years after high school in college earning my associate's, bachelor's, and master's, for those of you that don't know. So, uh, my viewpoint on college is not just some theory that I thought of. This is based off of my experience and the experience of others that I know that have went through it and had similar stories. But the difference between getting this OJT and spending $40,000 for this education compared to spending $40,000 in college and getting a piece of paper is that even at the $40,000 price point, I still have equity. So this house is going to appraise for way more than $40,000. I already know that. Exactly how much only time will tell once we finish and get it appraised. At a bare minimum, this house will have around $20,000 in equity in it at a bare minimum. But that's just based off of me talking to real estate investors, real estate agents that are familiar with this area. And again, like I said, only time will tell uh, what this house will appraise for. But I don't recommend anybody out there that's brand new who uh, is scared about investing in real estate. And that's not to say that I don't have any reservations about this project. I think it's a fairly big project. I picked it because I thought it was a fairly big project and it will give me the opportunity to learn all aspects of real estate from roofing, flooring, demo, kitchen renovations, bathroom renovations, dealing with the city. And it's proven to be everything that I thought it would and more up until this point. And this will be knowledge that I can apply to the next one and on and on and add this skill to my tool belt of ways that I know how to make money now that I got this education. But there you have it, you guys. Any questions, comments, concerns you have about this, put it down in the comment section. So I'm a hustler, stay hustling. JT Hustles, I'm gone. I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have 